Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a way to take a video you've already created and supercharge it with captions and overlays using JSON to video. Then we'll push the final product back into make.com so that you can instantly share it across your social media posts. This workflow is a huge time saver and it keeps your content looking polished and professional. Let's dive right in. All right, guys, let's start with our video. Let's go over to JSON to video and let's create a movie element where we're gonna add our video and anything else that we'd like. So I put my video in, I have a source URL for the video. This is going to be dynamically set through make.com when we build out our scenario. But as you're building out your template, I always like to just put something in so that uh, it's there. I've stretched it over a little bit because if you don't, then uh, you'll have a black bar on the side of it. Um, subtitles, pick the subtitle you want. I click classic progressive, the permanent marker, I up the size to 90 and you can preview it here. Hey everyone, today's tip is all about automated CRM updates. You'll see it's, it's a little bit bigger. If I wanna up that more, I can up it more. Let's go 110, okay. And then we'll try it again, reload. Let's see what it looks like now when it's bigger. Hey everyone, today's tip is all about okay. automated CRM updates. So you can change everything you want. You can do your line color, you can do your positions, you can change what you need to here. I have it as all caps. Um, this is kind of how I want mine to look. So do what you want there. I also added an image here, um, which I'll show you here in a minute. But the next image I want to show you is my overlay. So company name, overlay, company logo, whatever you want. You can add whatever elements you want in here. And then uh, this image I actually have, and you'll see at the time, because it'll tell you when you click on this stuff, okay, your asset here, duration is gonna be five seconds. And I want to start at the 21 second mark. So let me skip down to the 21 second mark so I can show you why. So when we come down to our 21 second mark, it adds this little follow. This is just an animated GIF. I'm not sure if it'll show up properly, but uh, it's worth a shot to see if it does or not, right? You know what? I don't even like it, so I'm actually gonna take it out. Let's take that one out. I do like this one though, so I like the fade in on it. There we go, I like that. Okay, anything else you wanna add, feel free to add it. You can do that there. Um, let's reload our video. Play it now, see how it hey looks. everyone, today's tip is all about automated CRM updates. Imagine never having to manually enter every interaction or update into your CRM system again. With automation, your CRM- And as you can tell, this video is one of the videos that I created using uh, um, Captions AI. And uh, unfortunately, Captions AI doesn't have a edit uh, API right now available. Otherwise, we would be able to do the captions uh, all in that tool. But since it's not, then we're going to do JSON to video to do this. This way, we can have a completely automated talking head video for our social media platform. So by doing this uh, and putting in the JSON, we should be able to go back and add this to our make.com. And here's what our scenario should look like when we go through. And this first option in your scenario can be whatever you want it to be. It's just going to be whatever pulls the video. So the way I have things set up is I've built my own APIs. So I store my videos on my web server. And then when I want them, I just do an API call to pull a random video from my video folder that I've saved these in. And so once it pulls that, but I've got different folders that I've set up. So pushes through, verifies my API key, and then it goes through the folder and picks the folder that it wants to get that data from. And I'll run this scenario step by step. So I run this module only. It's gonna to return to me the URL. So the URL is gonna be the video that we wanna use. So just to show you, let's open up a new tab, pull that in there. Hey everyone, today's AI tip is all about appointment scheduling automation. Imagine syncing all your calendars. So this is the video that we're going to want to use. Any manual so we take this, we're going to copy our JSON. We're going to come in here. We're going to run a create movie from JSON module. This is pretty simple. So obviously if you, if you haven't, you need to create your connection. All this is going to ask you for is your API key. And then you'll paste what we had just taken 
into this field. So I'm going to take all that out because this is an old one. We're going to put this in. And the only thing I am going to change in here is instead of putting in this static MP4, which is the video that we selected, we're going to pick the file that we're pulling from. So if you're doing this from a Google Drive, you'll pick that Google Drive URL. If you're doing this from your web server, pick the web server URL. If you're making a call to a database, so return that. If you're using you know, something like uh, Airtable, you, you'll just pull that. So whatever you're going to do, you're going to put that in. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually add your project ID that you get a response from in here. Because that'll wait for your movie to render. And once your movie's rendered, then you can do with it what you want. So either you can download the video, put it somewhere else if you want. You can upload it to social media directly from here if you want. Um, I am still undecided on how I want to deliver these. So right now I'm just going to stop at this portion of the execution. Uh, only because I, I'm really thinking about just saving them in another folder, using another one of the APIs I have to upload it to my server, um, and then using that folder to dynamically pull a video every day to post. So um, I'm just going to run the scenario real quick now that I've updated it. So let's run once. And this last piece will take a second here because it's actually rendering the video. I'll speed this up so that we can get there. All right, now it's completed, so let's take a look and see. We've got our movie URL right here. Hey everyone, today's AI tip is all about using chatbots for customer support. Okay. Imagine having a dedicated logo assistant came that in can perfectly. provide instant responses to your our customers' look common great. questions 24 to seven. And we're waiting on hold or delays after hours. Chatbots ensure your customers get the information they need anytime, enhancing their Actions are pretty good. They're a little bit off at 24 to 7. Interested in more AI um, and That could just be the way that AI read it, too, because obviously this video is not a video I recorded. This video is a video that was made with the Captions AI uh, API uh, because I'm trying to do this 100% um, autonomously once I built out the scenario. So, And that's a wrap on today's walkthrough. You now have all the tools you need to take your videos, add captions, and generate overlays using make.com and JSON to video. I hope you're ready to take your automation game to the next level. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it. Comment below with any questions or thoughts you have and share this with anyone who could use a little automation magic in their workflow. Make sure to subscribe for more tech tips, tutorials, and automation hacks that will save you time and boost your productivity. Stay tuned, stay automated, and as always, happy automating.